to live in. But 20 years ago, that was not the case. This was a ghetto. And you see burnt out cars outside in the streets, right out here. You uh, wake up in the morning, walk out the door, you see a dead body from drug dealing. So, look how it's transformed. And there's one reason for this. It's this lady here, Yoko Ni, who, you right. Back in the 1980s, she bought her first building here. And uh, 
by her own hard work, and she did the construction and everything, she uh, made that building into something livable. And uh, she rented out to artists. Now, artists loved this neighborhood at that time because it was cheap. They could uh, live free in, in burnt out warehouses or, or the rent an apartment for two or three hundred dollars a month. That's not the case anymore. Uh, but uh, you go work with the local community people and the police, and together they started to transform Williamsburg into something different. So the trickle of artists coming in from Manhattan where they couldn't afford to live, in Yuko and the neighbors' hard work, things began to change. Then one day, about 20 years ago almost, she saw this building with a sign up there for sale. And it's a beautiful building. And she, uh, she met with the people who were trying to sell it. And uh, lo and behold, uh, she made an offer, which they accepted. And the rest is history. Now, you have received many honors. And first of all, the uh, Howard Bolton, uh, the Bill President, uh, many years ago, gave her a Woman of the Year Award for helping to transform all the northern part of Brooklyn by her activities. And a little bit later, Governor George Pataki of the state of New York honored her with a Woman of the Year Award saying that she has done magnificent things uh, in creating this gloss and or preserving this magnificent building, which, by the way, is on the National Register of Historic Places. And it's the seventh building in all of New York to be landmarked, quite magnificent. But after, the, after George Pataki, too, she received many more awards. Marty Markowitz, uh, the borough president a couple of years back, named her again a Woman of the Year for, for furthering this, this activity and further transforming Brooklyn into the uh, emerging art capital of the world. And uh, after that, Tracy Boyland uh, uh, made her a citizen of the year. So she's received all of these wonderful honors and it's well-deserved. So you are standing now in, in, in the epicenter of, of the transformation of Brooklyn into one of the greatest boroughs in New York City. I want to introduce Yuko Dean. Here she is. Hello. Thank you very much, Terence Lynn Dolan. He's the president of the Mars Center. Mars Center uh, is shortened Williamsburg Art and Historical Center. And Mars Center bridges between local, national, international, bridge between fine art and performing art, bridge between you and me, men and women, young and old. So bridge with all creative artists and then bridge between art lovers. And you are one of them. So I appreciate you coming over. Everybody is busy today, but you spend a very important time with us. Thank you very much. Now, the reason why I had one month show, Honorable Mr. Mototaka Takano, uh, was due to my friendship with Mr. Miura, Leoichi Miura. And he is running uh, New York State Express for how many years? Long time. Thank you very much for every time. So he was the one who mentioned about Mr. Takano. And I was first hesitating because we don't usually have one month show. And always having group shows so that we can support more artists in a fairly large scale gallery. But due to Mr. Miller, I comprised, okay, I will do that. And I was very, very much afraid of having one man show because usually we have a full house. One man show needs their friends, relatives, families, I would say, will come to support the artist. And but here he is. He doesn't have. He has his wife, right? Mr. Takano has wife and families. 
but he is very independent. He came all by himself. I congratulate him. <laughs> and then he doesn't have to do anything. On top of it, he's so independent. He doesn't have too many friends, even though he's very friendly, no doubt. I like him very much. But, so he is a typical artist, and he does not belong to any, any artist clubs or so on. Indeed, he's very independent. And you can see what he has created. It's just amazing histories that I learned. And thanks to Mr. Nira. So, you know, through friendship and through getting to know each other and something really does expand. So that's what I envisioned about the Mars Center too. Through somebody mentioned to one person or two, that expands little by little. Doesn't go quickly, but I never believe on quick success. I always put much more effort and then long span of uh, whether we are successful or not, and not to say yes. It is depending upon uh, the viewers' opinions. I will leave it to you, but I am trying. And then, thank God, we have so many volunteers, kind volunteers, you name it. And I think we are the very rare institution that depending upon the volunteers without payment for 15, 17 years. And that's how we survived. It's the kindness of the volunteers. We have interns and then people who start supporting us. So here we are. We are going to have 20th anniversary next year. We survived so far. Okay. Thank you. And so I'd like to introduce you, Mr. Yoichi Nuna, who yeah. Oh, excuse me. The next one is a very important. Everyone is important, yes, more important. So, Mr. Ishida, Jun Ishi, Ishihara, is the council of Japanese council and um, culture of the shed. Okay. Thank you very much. Could you please come? Ishida. I made so many mistakes, that's <laughs> me. Thank you. I'm not so important person. Uh, good evening, everyone. Firstly, uh, on behalf of the ambassador and all of us at the consulate, uh, it is my great pleasure to extend my very best wishes to you for such a wonderful exhibition by Mototaka Takano. Uh, the theme of Mr. Takano's artwork is very simple, as you can see. Uh, the season is winter, and the place is Aomori Prefecture, which is located the most northern part of Japan's main island, on the very same latitude as New York City. As it happens, uh, both New York City and Aomori have one more thing in common. Does anyone know it? No. Both two cities is famous as an apple. You know, the New York City is called Big Apple, and Aomori is Japan's number one prefecture for its amount of an apple crops. So New York City is a very suitable place to exhibit Mr. Takano's masterpieces. And in addition, uh, as I said before, his and the theme of his artwork is very simple, but it's very deep. You can see the harshness of nature, and you can see the strength of people who live there. I'm sure this lovely exhibition will bring Americans and Japanese closer together. Thank you very much for Mr. Takano, and thank you very much for everyone who contributed to uh, making this exhibition a success. Uh, enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ms. Sihara. Okay, so the next one is Mr. Lois Miura.
please come. And he is the one who will introduce me to the artist. Thank you very much. I'm very glad to be here today for Mr. Takano-san's exhibition. Uh, the first time I met him is about um, more than uh, 12 years ago. And uh, uh, my boss, when I was uh, working at the Yomiuri America, and uh, my boss told me, uh, there is a um, good artist which uh, called uh, Japanese Brahman. Uh, it's a uh, Morris de Brahman, is a 19th century uh, artist. And uh, I knew the Brahman uh, paintings uh, when I was a junior high school in a um, textbook. So I saw his artwork and it looks like, oh, really, looks like it, oh my god. And uh, so uh, he has an uh, exhibition in New York for five times. Uh, let me uh, explain his uh, brief uh, history. Uh, Mr. Takano was born uh, in Tokyo, Arakawa, 1940, and he debuted as an artist in 1980. And uh, after uh, his debut, he is famous for his uh, 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 Tohoku uh, scenery pictures, and uh, he has already a 200, more than 230 uh, private exhibition in Japan, and he is one of the most popular artists in Japan. I'm very glad to be here today. Thank you very much. So, next one. Interestingly enough, yesterday it snowed, and I told you, you are the one who brought snow to New York City. <laughs> <laughs> we are looking for very warm spring time to come. Already, according to the calendar, we are supposed to have much warmer climate. You dropped the snow yesterday. I was so disappointed, but I had to forgive him because he loves snow, snow, snow. And so here you are, you are surrounded by very powerful paintings, all nothing but the snow. And then people who survived or struggled to live in a snowy country. So congratulations, Mr. Mototaka Takano. And you would like to say something? Yes. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
たいと思いますまあ,あのこれからも見守って応援してくださいよろしくお願いしますありがとうございます I'm sure everybody understood Japanese. <laughs> I don't. So, Mr. Miura, could you please translate what he said? <laughs> And I can help you once in a while. <laughs> that, that is so wonderful to have a friend. Friends indeed, friends indeed. <laughs> he says uh, he is very glad to be here today. And, uh, Uh, since he started in New York, uh, first exhibition, and uh, first, second, and third, and uh, he wanted to be have an exhibition in a large space, and uh, he told me, uh, like museum, large space. So, and uh, he asked me uh, to find the uh, good location, and so I. Uh, introduce him to this war center. And uh, his main theme of uh, painting is North Territory of Japan and uh, Fisherman's Village. And he always uh, drawing and painting uh, of North uh, cities, Tohoku. And uh, after this exhibition, he is going to have a big uh, internal domestic exhibition in Aomori. And uh, he's very uh, happy, and uh, he would like to continue his efforts. Thank you very much, Mr. Minera. See, it's so wonderful to have kind friends, and then I know those who are here today. You are very, very busy, I know that, but you spared. Precious time to come over to support us and really appreciate it very, very much. Thank you very much. And then please tell your friends to come over. This idiosyncratic artist, that's what I call him. Because in Japan, traditionally, the Japanese artists belong to so and so and so clubs. Uh, I wouldn't say clubs. For centuries, But he is an independent artist and never belonged to any associations. So I would call him is idiosyncratic art. Well, art is science, and indeed, everybody is, isn't it? So we are all sharing, and it takes three to make art realize. One is the artists themselves, the other one is the art supporter. The other one is an art promoter or art space to provide. And we are here to provide a space to support artists. And some of you are art lovers who enjoy uh, wonderful artworks. We are not only fine art oriented, we have performance. As I said, it's a bridge concept. So please come back again. We need your presence. We need your support. And Mr. Takano needs your support during the time when the show is being held. Thank you very much, everybody. Hello, everybody. My name is Mohit Matsukani, and I'll be playing a little bit of Bach on the cello today. Today actually happens to be the birthday of Johann Sebastian Bach. Seeing some of the seeing some of the work of art around, I'd like to make I'd like to try to make the association between the music I'm about to play and the, some of the scenes that are painted here. So I'll be playing these I'll be playing some of the movements from Bach's C minor cello suite. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's gonna be wonderful. I know this guy. Brilliant. Like Bach. Thank you. 